And we're going to introduce you to these folks. They are from a local program that teaches kids how to make movies. And not only that, but these kids have made some movies of, yeah, yeah thumbs up to you guys too. Making movies of social significance mm -hmm. to kids. Stick around. Wait until you see some of the topics, the movies these guys made. Making a difference. Welcome back. A Teen Producers Project is a program that's geared toward teaching underserved youth how to operate film equipment in order for them to creatively tell the community stories. Stories that are very important to know about. Fernando Silva and Jody Silly are with me this morning to tell us a little bit more. Welcome. Thanks for being here, both of you. Uh, thanks for inviting us. Now, this project, uh, Jody, uh, comes about because it's all uh, related to the Latino Film Festival. Is that correct? Yeah, we work with the Latino Film Festival mm -hmm. and we're part of the Media Arts Center of San Diego and through that we're able to work in the community and be able to teach kids video production skills and help them make videos about issues that actually affect their community, things that they're going through, their families are going through their communities are going through. And Fernando is a, a budding producer. In fact, you've, you are a producer. You have just produced, is this your first movie? Oh yes, this is my first movie. Um, Actually, though, I've, I've wanted to do this for mm -hmm. my whole life, pretty much, but I never really got the opportunity. I thought I had to go to college, get a degree, and had to go through all this stuff. But no, I found out that this program just offers students, just right off the bat. We're looking uh, at your production. What is it called? Tell us about it. Oh, this one? Um, this one right now we're working on, or pretty much finished, is called American Dream. But the one we're looking at right now is um, I Want My Parents Back, um, about the ice raids that was happening, um, actually, a lot in San Diego which um, what happens is the ICE raids, what they are is kind of um, deportation services. Uh -huh. they, um, they go to just random areas and pretty much just knock at doors and find out, ch check your residency, see if you are an American citizen or, not, citizen or not. And there's a lot of families that came from Mexico to San Diego or to um, other parts of San, San Diego. The county. Mm -hmm. The county. And then they check if your residency. And the funny thing, well, actually the really sad thing was but they came here, they had kids here. So the kids were American citizens while their parents weren't. So their parents pretty much well, got busted and they were sent back to Mexico, leaving their kids alone in America just to fend to themselves without anyone else. And this documentary is about what happens to the, the kids that are left behind once their parents are deported? Um, correct. It also is about what you can do to also defend yourself against these ICE raids. Mm -hmm. you know, um, you, you don't have to open the door. Um, ICE raids, they usually use intimidation tactics to get you to open the door or um, show you your, sit your citizenship. You know, but this movie mainly focused on what's happening, try to get the voice of the people out, and to see how to defend yourself pretty much from it. What, what got you interested in making these documentaries? How did you begin? Well, I started with the internship at the Media Arts Center for the mm -hmm. San Diego Latino Film Festival. And through the San Diego Latino Film Festival, I, bought, I found out about the TPP. Once I found out about it, I just, it was always my dream to make movies. And then, not only that, but giving the issues that really I never hear about, an opportunity to be heard, was just a, pretty much a dream come true. It sure sense. is. A very powerful dream. Now, tonight, there's going to be a premiere of your other movie that you're working correct. on, correct? Tell us about this one. The American Dream. Um, well, what it's about, it's, it's about the image that America has on, um, I guess, a lot of other immigrants in other countries, for instance, Mexico. Um, you know, you've heard a lot about the border crossing and stuff. And what sure. is their view? Mm -hmm. What is their view of um, America? Why do they want to come over? And what is their view when they actually get here? Mm -hmm. Is it different from what they actually saw back in their old country? Is this what we're looking at right now here? Um, correct. Mm -hmm. And it just it mainly focuses on their life and how their life was before and how their life is now. And just pretty much stating the view that they had and how their life is after that. Well, tell us about the premiere that's happening uh, tonight. It's, it's this evening. It's this evening at Crawford High Educational Complex in their auditorium at 6.30. Can anybody come? Yep, it's open to the public and it's free. Open to the public, it's free. There's the information. You can see uh, the uh, meet uh, Fernando. You're going to be there for the, the big evening, Fernando Silva. Uh, Jody Silly, thank you very much for sharing uh, uh, this program and best of luck to you. We could have the oh, next Steven you. Spielberg in the making. Who knows? Oh, right? <laughs> thank you. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Great thank work. You very Important much. issues, so too.